Now, how did the Epic Records deal come about? Uh, just years and years of hard work and, and moving around down here in Atlanta. Uh, my guy Chubby, he he uh, had got a position over there at Epic um, a few years back, and I remember when he got it. You know, everybody was just congratulating him, and it was just a wonderful feeling, even for the city, because everybody had knew how much work he'd been putting in over the years. So he hit me up on Instagram, actually, like, yo, man, I got you, bro. Like, you know, I had known him just running around in the city, and, you know, he was one of the people I connected with. So, like, man, I got you, bro. He knew my situation, and, you know, I had just got out of a deal not too long ago and all that good stuff. So me and him connected, man. He asked me to come to the studio one day. I played him some records, and, you know, we just ain't stopped working since then, you know. So he took me over to Epic, and then we've been doing our thing. Shout out to Awesome Life. You know, we're doing that for sure. So, yeah, chubby, really. Mm -hmm. Now, um, when it comes to Epic, was that your first major record label? Because you said you had another deal before. Yeah, I mean, I've, I've done different things before. Now, what happened with the previous deal? Was that a major record label deal as well? Yeah, it was It was a major deal. Um, and at the time for me, it was everything, you know, because it was something that, you know, all artists work up and work towards, you know, when you're independent and you've been doing that thing, you want a major deal. Like, you know, it feels like that's like the end all be all. But um, it was just a, it was a good learning experience for me, if nothing else. You know, I got a chance to kind of see, get a little taste of the industry and what, what you know, it comes with. But that deal wanted up falling through. And, um, you know, I was actually signed, not another major deal, but with Akon as well. You know, I did a deal with Akon. I was signed with Con Live. And Akon was great. You know, I just really got a chance to peep his whole situation and kind of learn how to move around the industry as well. But, you know, those things just kind of fell out. I guess it just wasn't the perfect time for me or my timing. Um, and years after that, you know, I just put in a lot of hard work and I was just going to every open mic in the city of Atlanta and just every show I could and just selling my CDs at the gas stations. And I finally, like, worked my way back up. So, you know, I'm proud of that. So is this your second deal or your third deal? Third. Third, third deal. Third, I, I would say third. I see. Now, do you feel pressure with this one because it is the third deal? No, I feel like this is like, like that, you know what I'm saying? I feel like I can't do no better. Like, I feel like, yo, for me to get a chance to get another crack at this, you know, I feel like it's really my second go around, you mm -hmm. know what I'm saying? Third deal maybe, but my second really go around. So for me, I just feel blessed to be in this position, you know, to really give it a go again. And, you know, a lot of, I know a lot of people don't get this chance, you know, so I'm just going to make the most of it, enjoy every moment and, and live it to the fullest.